Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're going to see how to set up the Tales of the Valiant luck mechanic on the D&D 5th edition character sheet. And I'll talk through the mechanics of how luck works, and then I'll walk you through building a script cards macro in order to automate the addition and subtraction of luck. Now, because we're going to use the script card mod for this, you will need a pro account to do what I'm about to show you. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. Earlier this year, Kobold Press ran a successful Kickstarter for their Tales of the Valiant role-playing game. And the idea behind this game is that it's going to take the best elements of D&D 5th edition and then put a unique Kobold Press spin on it. Now, Kobold Press has recently released an early version of the rule set, and one of the mechanics that I'm really excited about is luck. Essentially, each character gets a pool of luck that they can use to change the outcome of a particular die roll, whether it's an attack roll, a saving throw, or an ability check. And you spend these luck points on a one-for-one -one basis. So if you rolled a 14, but you needed a 15 to hit something that you were fighting, you could spend one luck point and turn that miss into a hit. So I thought this was a really cool idea and I didn't want to wait until Tales of the Valiant was officially supported on Roll20. So what I've decided to do is adopt the luck mechanic as a house rule into my existing 5e game. And so to help with that, I wanted to automate the process of gaining and losing luck. So you can gain luck once per turn when you fail an attack roll or save, when you do something clever, or when you survive a particularly difficult encounter. You can only have five luck points at a time. If you have five luck points and would gain one more, you have to roll a d4 and then reset your luck points to that die result. So what I did was created a macro so that whenever a player should earn luck, they can just click on this adjust luck button and it will pop a message into chat saying that their luck has increased by one and their current luck total is whatever their luck total is. And then it also reflects that on their character sheet. And as they earn more luck, it automatically updates and keeps the appropriate tally on their sheet. When the player gets up to 5 luck, the macro informs them that they currently have the maximum number of luck points and they need to spend them before they lose them. But if they don't, and they're in a situation where they would earn yet another luck point, then the macro will automatically roll that d4 and will reset their luck points back to that die roll. So let's see how we go about setting this up. So the first thing we want to do is come out to the mods page and we want to make sure that we've installed script cards and chat set atra. Both of these are available in the mod library, so just click inside this field here, start typing script cards and chat set atra, and you'll find them, you can add them to your game. Script Cards comes to us from the amazing Kurt Jagers, and this mod is used to not only put the macro output into the chat, but it also handles the logic where it checks to see how many points a particular character currently has, if they're getting close to the maximum, and then does the die roll if necessary. Chat Set Atra comes to us from the amazing Jacob, and this mod is what's actually changing the luck point total on the character sheet. And so we're going to use the two of these together in order to create our luck macro. So the first thing that I did was I named this resource on my character sheet luck so that I knew that was for tracking luck points and I set its value to zero. All right, so now let's swing over our trusty notepad window here and let's start writing some code. So the first thing we're going to type in here is exclamation point script and then two sets of curly braces and then some closing curly braces. What this is saying is this is a script card command. And everything between the set of double curly braces will be performed as a result of this command. Now what we're going to do is add in an attribute called title luck adjustment. What this is going to do is give us this header right here for our macro output. So that's our title. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to type in dash dash equals luck amount, a pipe, and then at selected pipe other resource plus one. So what does this mean? What this is saying is we're effectively creating a variable here called luck amount. And the luck amount variable is going to store how much luck our character is going to have after we increase by one. So it's looking at the other resource value right here, which is what this is. You notice when I hover over that, it's called other resource. So it's looking at the other resource and it's taking the number that's in there and adding one to it. Now what we want to do is display this message, your luck has increased by one. That's done with a command like this, dash dash plus, and then a pipe, and then the text that we want to appear. 
We also want to display what our current luck total actually is. And so we're going to do that with a command like this. Again, dash dash plus and a pipe that's outputting the text again. We're saying your current luck total is, and then this bracket dollar sign luck amount is how we refer to the variable that we created earlier. So we set that equal to, in this case, it would be two, and we would be displaying that our current luck total is actually two. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to run a chat set atra command to actually update the value on the character sheet. And that's going to look like this dash dash at and this is how we call other scripts is dash dash at so the script that we're calling is the set atra command. And then what we're doing is we're sending in the character ID of the selected character to chat set atra and we're setting the other resource value on the character sheet to the value that's stored in luck amount. And then this last parameter here, silent, is saying that we don't want to display information from chat set atra because when chat set atra runs, it will actually display a message saying that it changed the resource. We don't want it to do that because we're doing that above in the script card. So if we were to just run this right now as it is, we have our character selected and I paste that in and run it. You see that our luck has increased by one and our current luck total is two and it updated it and that's all working great. But you notice that my text is left aligned here and in the original one it's centered. Well we can actually do formatting in our script card as well. So if we would like text to be centered we can just put in a square bracket a C and then a closing square bracket. And then this tag tells the script card that we are done centering text. So we're going to center this line and then I'm just going to do the same thing on the line below. And now if I run this again, we see that we've got our centered text and this is looking great. Okay, but now what we need to do is check to see if our luck is currently equal to five. And if it is, then we want to warn the player that they need to spend the luck before they lose it. So for that, what we're going to do is come up here, put in some white space, and I'm going to type in dash dash question mark. This is how we do a conditional statement. We're basically going to say if a particular condition is true, then we're going to do something else. So what we're going to say here is if our luck amount equals five, then we're going to do something. And the way we say what we're going to do is we put in another pipe and an open square bracket. And then we're going to come down here and type in dash dash and another square bracket. And what this is saying is everything between this pipe and another square bracket and another pipe. And so basically what this means is if our luck amount is equal to five, we're going to do everything between this pipe and square bracket and this pipe and square bracket. So all the stuff in between these two is going to be performed if our luck is equal to five. So what I'm going to do here is put in another output line that looks like this, where we're going to say you currently have the maximum number of luck points, spend them before you lose them. So let's go ahead, let's run that. We'll make sure our character is selected, paste that in, run. Okay, our current luck total is four. I'm going to press up on my keyboard to put the same command back into chat, press enter again. And here we go. We see that we have the maximum number of luck points, spend them before we lose them. Okay, cool. Again, we want to format that so it's a little prettier. And so what I'm going to do here is just like before, I'm going to center this, but I also want this text to be bold so it stands out. And we can do that by putting in a B in square brackets that says we're going to start bolding this text. And then we say when we want the bold to end. And then I'd also like to place a horizontal rule before this text so that there's a break between where the current luck total is listed and the message saying you need to spend them before you lose them. And that can be done with an HR like this. So that's going to put a horizontal rule in here. So let's go ahead, let's run that so you can see what this looks like right now. Now you'll notice we are currently allowing luck to roll past five, which is not correct. We're going to fix that in a minute. Let me bump my luck back down to four. We'll run the command again. There we go. And we see we currently have the maximum number of luck points, spend them before you lose them. And we've got that nice horizontal rule. I think one more thing that I want to do from a formatting perspective is I want to put a line break right before spend here so that we have these two things kind of displayed a little cleaner. And so to make that happen, we're going to put in a BR right here. And so now if we run this again and let's drop our luck total down to four. We can see we've got our luck is increased by one. Our current luck total is five. We have the maximum number of luck points. Spend them before you lose them. 
So now let's add in the logic that checks to see if we're already at five luck points, and if we are, we'll roll that d4 and reset our luck down to whatever the d4 roll was. So to do that, we're gonna start out with another conditional statement that looks like this, where we say, if the selected character's other resource value, that is our luck, equals five, then we're gonna do whatever's between this pipe and open square bracket and this closing square bracket and pipe. And so what we wanna do now is we're gonna roll our luck amount. We're gonna say dash dash equals, and it's gonna be luck amount, and the luck amount value is going to be 1d4. So it's gonna actually roll the d4, and whatever it gets on that d4 will be stored in the luck amount variable. And then we want to put in some text informing the player that their luck has been reset. And so that's gonna be another output line, dash dash plus pipe, and then your luck has been reset to luck amount. And again, that's being centered here. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna indent these commands so it's a little easier to tell exactly what's part of the if statement. But if we were to run this exactly as it is right now, it would do this check, this if statement, is it currently equal to five? It would roll the luck amount, and then it would go ahead and do all the rest of this stuff too. And we don't want that. What we really want is for this if statement to say, if it's equal to five, reset the luck to that d4, otherwise do this stuff here. And so what we're gonna do to make that happen is we're gonna put in another open bracket right here and then another set of closing brackets and pipes right here. So effectively, what we've just done is created an else clause. So if our luck equals five, we're gonna do all this stuff right here. Otherwise, we're gonna do this stuff right here. So if it's equal to five, we roll the d4, we send the message to the player saying their luck has been reset. Otherwise, we increase their luck by one and notify the player about that. So now if we run this, we see that our luck has been reset to two. Let's go ahead, let's do that a couple more times. Three, four, and we're back up to five, saying that we currently have the maximum number of luck points, spend them before we lose them, we run it again, and we see our luck has been reset to that D4 roll. So this is now working exactly as we want. So as you can see, the chat log fills up pretty fast with luck update messages. And you can just imagine that in a combat where people are making attack rolls and missing or failing saving throws, the chat could get pretty full pretty fast with messages about luck being updated. So to help cut down on the noise in chat, what we're gonna do next is make it so that this command is whispered to the player whose luck has been updated and also to the GM so that they can keep tabs on whose luck pool is getting full and can then remind their players, hey, you may wanna spend that before you lose it. So let's see how we do that. So we're gonna get that whisper in here by adding a line right up here at the top that looks like this, dash dash, hash mark, whisper, means the output of this script card will be whispered, and then a pipe, and then who are we whispering to? And we're gonna say self, so the player who is updating their luck, and then a comma, GM, which will also send the output to the GM. So if I run this right now, we can see now that the output has been whispered to me, the player, and it's also been whispered to my GM. And if we jump into my GM window here, you can see, again, I'm getting a whisper from Daisy saying that her luck has been updated and she currently has the maximum number of luck points. So as you can see, there's an awful lot of really cool things that you can do with script cards. And I'm just learning them myself. This actually was my first project using script cards in a game. So what I'm gonna do is drop a link to the script cards documentation page down in the video description, and also a forum post where script cards questions are being asked so that if you decide you wanna experiment with script cards yourself, you've got a resource to go to because that's where I'm going right now as I learn this stuff. All that said, there are a few other things that I do want to point out about this code that you may have been wondering as I was setting it up. So let me dig into that now. So you may be wondering why in the beginning here we're checking to see if selected other resource equals five, whereas down here we're checking to see if the luck amount variable equals five. And you know, why didn't I just use selected other resource equals five both times? And the answer has to do with orders of operation. When the script card runs, it performs all of its commands and then it makes the call to chat set Atra. So the output of the script card gets thrown into chat 
and then the character's luck value on their character sheet gets updated. And this happens so fast that to us, it seems like it's simultaneous. But the script card runs, and then chat set Atra runs. So what that means is the selected other resource value doesn't get updated until after the script card has been displayed in chat, after it's actually finished. So we can't key off that because it won't have been updated. So what we do instead is we take the value in selected other resource and we just add the one to it ourselves within the script card. We're just doing the math here. So we know that if we're currently at four luck, we're going to have five as a result of this adjustment. So we know we're going to have five luck, which means, hey, we have to tell the player that they have the maximum number of luck points and they need to spend them. The other thing to mention is if you've used chat set Atra before, you may have noticed the command looks a little bit different. Typically, when you pass parameters into chat set Atra, you use this double dash notation. But here, we're using underscores. And the reason is that script cards uses the double dash to indicate what sort of command is going to be performed on a given line. And so if we had double dashes here, then script cards would interpret this as a new line within the card itself. So script cards uses this underscore notation instead to allow for parameters to be passed into a given command. So that's why here, instead of this being a dash dash other resource, or dash dash silent, we're using the underscore instead. And like I said earlier, I'll pop links to the documentation down in the video description so that you can go and learn all about how script cards work if you'd like. So there you have it. That's how you can set up Tales of the Valiant Luck in a D&D 5th edition character sheet using script cards. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.